Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Of course, Mike Tyson last year, one of the greatest of all time to ever step into the ring, uh, made history coming out of retirement in his fight uh, with Roy Jones Jr. Uh, last year, showing off an impressive uh, form in the ring. And now the man is stepping back into the ring, so to speak, in the world of cannabis, uh, launching his Tyson 2.0 brand at a multitude of price points. And he joins us right now, the legend himself, Iron Mike Tyson, alongside uh, Chad Bronstein, uh, Tyson 2.0 chairman, along here for the chat as well. Gentlemen, thanks so much for taking the time to chat. Uh, Mike, we'll start with you, though, because, you know, there are a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, celebrities, sports icons getting into the cannabis space right now. And it's taken a long time for politicians to legalize at a federal level. But why did you want to launch Tyson 2.0 right now? Hey, Tyson 2.0 is the way to go. And it's, um, it's, just, it's just the history of um, cannabis, of which I believe. And I believe I have a dream team of candidates of the cannabis world. And Chad's one of them. Yeah, Chad, I mean, when we talk about uh, what Tyson 2.0 is trying to do, there are a lot of companies, obviously, in the cannabis space. It's been growing. A lot more states have been legalizing. You guys are teaming up with multi-state operator uh, Columbia Care. Talk to me about what the brand is going to try to do to differentiate itself. Yeah, so I think what Mike said, Mike didn't give himself, do himself justice, but Mike has been uh, very vocal in the cannabis space for several years. Um, and so we met through a company called Wisana, and uh, with Tyson 2.0, Mike has a clear vision to really tr uh, treat people the same way he's been treated, both from psychedelics as well as cannabis. And so we partnered with Columbia Care to really give us um, national footprint. Columbia Care obviously has licenses in uh, several markets. And so we'll be working with Columbia Care to really, um, and our CEO, Adam Wilkes, to really bring Tyson 2.0 products to market. Um, we'll be doing some exclusive drops here in November and December, and then going um, and doing a full launch come January and February. So uh, our differentiation is going to be obviously our products, um, the focus on what we're bringing to market, as well as um, Mike's input and Adam's input on, uh, you know, really what we believe our consumers are looking for. Mike, to, to Zach's point, uh, there are clear business opportunities in the cannabis space. That's why we've seen so many big names getting into the space. But you've talked about your personal story and, and the role that cannabis has played in your life. I mean, can you talk a bit about that and why it was so important for you to bring this product to market? Well, listen, let me tell you my experience with cannabis. Um, I stopped smoking cannabis at 18 years old. And... Um, but I kept drinking and my life was just miserable. I was out of control. I was fighting with anybody. If somebody came to ask for an autograph, I'd punch them in the face. I was just a mess. And then I start, you know, after I retired, I started smoking. And what a mistake that was. I should have smoked my whole career. I should have smoked when I was fighting. And um, because it put me in this different state of mind, I'm very relaxed and I, the more relaxed you are, the better fighter you are, at least in my case I am. And so um, I always I always started using um, marijuana and cannabis. And, and plus my family, I tell you, I'm a totally different person with or without. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's interesting to hear you say you should have started using it earlier, but I think we've heard from a lot of athletes talking about the regenerative effects, uh, NFL athletes talking about it as well. Uh, the thing is, you're 55. Listen, you came out of retirement. Allow me to say, in one of my fights, I did smoke marijuana. It's called at, with Andrew Galata. I broke his cheekbone, his eye socket, his rib, and I should have been doing this from the beginning. And I said, <laughs> "Wow, why didn't I?" I got fined for that, of course, but um, it was worth every bit of it. Well, times have changed, I guess, in terms of how people look at cannabis. It's obviously changed a lot, but in terms of your longevity. You know, people talk a lot about Tom Brady still playing in the NFL at age 44. You stepping back into the ring and fighting at age 55. So, I mean, I'm not sure how much cannabis played into that. But, I mean, do you think you deserve more respect for still being there fighting at 55? Well, listen, um, I won't say cannabis, but I think psychedelics have a big role to play in that. It's, um, it's just inconceivable if I tried to explain it. And I can't explain it. Uh, I think Chad, I, for some reason, excuse me? Mike, I'm going to let you finish Hello? your thought. I was saying, 
I don't want to say anything disrespectful. I think he's an enhancer. It makes me better, even in the ring. It, it, the punches doesn't even hurt as much. You can hardly feel them. So um, it has a lot to do with my comeback, the psychedelics. Chad, uh, let, let's go back to the business part of the discussion here. I mean, you talked about the opportunities that you see. Um, can you elaborate a bit more on how you see yourself scaling this business and, and the upside that you see in terms of the specific markets you're looking to target? Yeah, so um, I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Fivo, which is in the big technology company in cannabis. And we've always seen, obviously, the huge uh, the huge opportunity. With Tyson 2.0, the key is going to be, obviously, retail scale. And now with all the multi-state operators, um, that are come and that are growing, uh, that gives us the opportunity to grow our product and have uh, retail scale in all markets. But let's talk about uh, even New York specifically. That's always been Mike. You know, Mike's from New York. Something that it's really special to him. And now with New York being rack and medical, um, we'll be able to actually have a large footprint in New York um, in 2022, 2023. So there's a lot of opportunity um, in all markets, and we'll see. I think we'll see more markets come on board over the next few years. So. Um, the, the opportunities are endless in cannabis. We think there's um, extreme momentum in the space. And again, you know, with Mike being, you know, very vocal about it and his products um, and the rigor we're putting behind it, I think that it will have, you know, a lot of success. Yeah, and obviously Columbia Care flexing their first to flower there in the state of New York as, as cannabis sales come on board there. Uh, Mike, if I can return to kind of what you just said there in terms of cannabis and psychedelics helping you back in the ring, of course, People are looking ahead to what you might have planned in terms of the next fight. Uh, rumors looking out to maybe potentially you fighting Logan Paul, the YouTuber, in 2022. Uh, what are you looking to do now, I suppose, if you're feeling good, Listen, back on it? Anything's possible, you know, because by doing this, we have a great exponent of charities to give to. So that um, the charities win both ways. Yeah, and they won when you, when you fought Roy Jones Jr. too last year as well. I suppose a lot of money could come in with a fight with Logan Paul. You think you, uh, you think you could take him on? Are you talking to me about that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think maybe I'm an old man. You know, I'm, I don't know what I can do now. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, it's been interesting to watch. And I, like I said, man, fascinating to see you still do it at age 55, uh, one of the greatest of all time. Iron Mike Tyson, join us there. Uh, congratulations again on the launch of Tyson 2.0. Our thanks to Chad Bronstein for joining in here. Tyson 2.0 is the way to go, baby. <laughs>